Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and Mower Man. Hope you're all doing very well indeed. In this little video, I'm gonna be showing you how um, to get over a very, very simple problem uh, and one of the ways in which to do so, because there are different ways of which to doing it. Now, I can't take credit for this video. I actually saw this video on another channel called Eliminator Performance, and I thought, what a fantastic little thing to do. I might have to take that and use that myself and put it onto my channel, because uh, you never know, unless your name's not out there within the YouTube game, then you're, if your video's not out there, it's not out there. Um, and the problem I have is, is on some lawnmowers, you um, put your spark plug in, in and out, in and out as you're testing and running, and the machine gets hot, and then you cross-thread your spark plug, or you pull a pull cord, and the um, spark plug just gets spat out, because the threads are done, okay? This, in many cases, people, I believe, if you're not in the game, would, would just decide that the lawnmower is actually now terminal, and uh, not worth anything. But with a little bit of ingenuity, and a little bit of time and patience, um, you can possibly get those threads looking brand spanking new again, and hopefully get that spark plug to sit inside the cylinder, inside the head, and away you go again. So that's what this video is all about. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button, whack your old bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told one done a video or two on a Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's try and sort out these threads on a very, very knackered spark plug hole. Okay, so here's our practice piece, but uh, what I would recommend doing is, um, if you have this issue, is then to, to remove the, uh, the head bolts and remove the head. Get a new head gasket if required, and just remove the head, because doing this um, with the head already um, onto the lawnmower could um, put some filings inside the cylinder, and that's not what you want. So you may have to remove the head off of your lawnmower to do this, but uh, it is a very, very simple process to do. And what I should show you is, I've got a, um, a practice piece here. Um, and as you can see, uh, the threads are absolutely mullered. There, they're about to pick them out up right there. See that? Look, look, that big groove just there. They're smashed. Okay, and the spark plug itself will not, will not bite. It's not, it's not having it. That's as far as that goes. It's not having it. Okay. So to get around this issue, um, I purchased a piece of kit that I saw my, um, off of, a, as I say, Eliminator Performance. My mate Jake, he does a video over there, um, and his old man Wayne, go and check them out, they are super, super cool people. Um, but I picked up this product here, which is called um, a thread chaser, okay? Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. It comes with two, uh, two on, e on each one for different thread sizes. And all you wanna do, very, very simple. Now you can find them on, on Amazon, okay? So. Uh, don't go ask me for no links, they're, uh, they're on Amazon. All you wanna do is turn the head around, stick it into the vise, best we can. Let's go about there. Let's just bring you uh, guys and gals around a little bit better. And then I just wanna get myself a little tiny bit of lube. We love a bit of lube. Bit of lube on there. And all we then wanna do, is just try and get this thread chaser started. And generally the damage is at the front, okay? So this is why I'm going in via the back entrance. No jokes there, please. I'm now gonna get myself um, a socket to fit that. Oh, bigger than that, mate. I've got a deep weld as well. That's a kitty. And let's get a ratchet to fit on top of that. Now, this isn't a question of just going in flat out, people, right? You're gonna, you have to use your common sense, okay? So it's a question of nick it up until it goes a bit tight. Now, there are gullies within these thread traces for the threads to clear. But if you feel any resistance, then it's time to back it off. Which is there. I'm going to back it off a touch. Let me do it up in the vice a bit better. I'm going to back it off just a touch. I'm going to insert a bit more oil. And then run it back in again. And what you should be noticing, if you come around to the other side, I'm sure I shall show you very shortly, 
you'll notice that the thread chaser has now actually come out via the other side of the head. There it is just there, just starting to poke through. Okay, so we'll go a bit more. And you can see here, the uh, aluminium is starting to be taken out of through the gullies. Now, if you come across a dead stop, you don't go any further than that because then you can start mashing up your threads. But I believe now that's broken through, which it has. So I run it through, chase that thread, and that's about as far as I want to go. Let me show you those threads again on the other side. And then you can see there's the aluminium where it's, where, where it's actually um, taking a new thread inside. And on the inside here, you can see some of the threads just on the inside there as well. So now, you can use heady coils as well, okay, people? But this is an option, okay? I know some of you guys and girls are going to say, oh, you use a heady coil. That's fine, use a heady coil. Go and do that. But this is just another option. So now we can take these out. And you can see all the debris on there. So I'm just now I'm going to get my air compressor. And blow that off. And let's have a little look to see what those threads now look like. Let's take off the old perch and have a look at those threads now compared to what they looked like beforehand. Those threads were done in as you, as you saw and now nice clean threads. But the question is is will it take a plug? So I've got a nice uh, B2LM plug here, which the threads are good on. And beforehand, it wouldn't take it. I might put a bit of oil in there, just for the first time. And the answer is yes. Let me grab my spark plug socket. And you'll see out the back here comes Mr. Spark Plug. So this is this is a good tool if your if your threads are just a little bit damaged. If they're too far gone, people, it ain't gonna happen. It's not a miracle device. But as you can see there now, that spark plug's now gone in exactly where it should do. It's kissed down nice and tight. It's not spinning. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Now, as I say, I saw this video over at uh, Eliminate Performance, and I thought, what a fantastic little tool. Um, for those of you that are over here in the UK, you may, if you're not subscribed to Jake over at Eliminate Performance, you may not have seen the video. So I thought, well, let's put it out on the UK side and see uh, how it does. As you can see, the threads on here are now fantastic as well. Threads are good there. And you can also go in from the other side as well, just to prove the point. The threads will go in that side as well. There you go. Okay. So there you go, there's a nice little hack for you. Um, pick up yourself a little tiny thread chaser kit. You look on eBay or Amazon, that's where I've got mine from. I think they're around about six pounds, something along that line, I might be wrong. But there it is there, it's called a um, oxygen sensor thread chasers. Come with two different lots inside for all your two strokes, four strokes, and uh, all other sizes that you may require um, for, your, for your machine. So pick them up, it, it could be better and quicker than using a heady coil, but I just recommend that you just actually remove the head for the process, otherwise you're gonna have iron filings inside the head. Okay, so there you have it, quick and easy video. How quick was that? All right, you gotta take the head off, maybe a new gasket, but that is the drama. But in reality, you know, for a new head gasket and uh, just to remove the head bolts, it's no big chore, you know, it's, it's six or seven bolts, it's no biggie. And then just pick yourself up one of these Fred Chaser kits. Um, there's a part number, it is made in China. You can get them on, on Amazon or on eBay uh, or any other tool specialist. And uh, just make sure they get the, the right threads for you. Give them a clean afterwards, bit of oil, um, just store them back in a the packet, ready for the next time, because you never know, especially dealing with like secondhand machines. It won't be long before you get one with, with a cross thread because people always tend to um, change the spark plugs when the machine is hot. And that's one of the worst things you can ever, ever do. If you enjoy this sort of video of Mixed Miles and Mower Man, then hit the old subscribe button, whack the old, um, whack the old bell. Set notifications to all, that you'll be told one's on a video or two more on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Miles very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.